Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to reorganise this bookshelf behind me. So I thought I would film it and I'm not doing it in like, oh, are you doing it alphabetical? Are you doing it in colours? That's very trendy, colour bookshelf or genre. No, I am organising it in most liked books to most hated books. Like book heaven to book hell, <laughs> my bookshelf. So I'm going to show you what it looks like now. It's completely higgledy piggledy mess right now. Here is an overview of what it looks like. So I've got my fern, got some plants, got a lamp. And I've read all these books. In both bookcases, I've read all these books. And this up here is going to be book heaven and my most favorite books and then dun, 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 dun. this corner is going to be book hell I might even put a little curtain over it <laughs> so I don't have to look at them this is going to be the books that I despise but I've written all over and I've written in them so I can't really get rid of them and I like to read back my like sass comments on them so this little shelf here book hell this is the top shelf. This will be book heaven. I have this gorgeous succulent, which this is called string of pearls, and it's a really beautiful succulent plum. I'll just move you over there for a second. And then I have this like Valentine's card. I'll move them over. So let's see who's worthy. Mother Goose, I enjoyed this. This was a good book. It's like a children's book thing, but it's not heaven. Dr. Zeus, the Lorax, loved it. You've deserved your place in heaven. <laughs> this is like the X Factor for books. The Cactus, I enjoyed it. Not heaven. Brides, I enjoyed it. Not heaven. Oh, that was a difficult... Oh my god. That... Someone threw themselves. What's wrong with you? What? Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed this, but yeah, you're not heaven either. <laughs> like it knew. It was a fallen angel. <laughs> Lucifer chucked himself from heaven okay lord of the flies not heaven um let's go along oh okay not heaven sorry guys sorry sorry damage absolutely adore one of my favorite books you have turned your place in heaven jane austen persuasion you're good you're an angel but you're not god great expectations you deserve your place in heaven the mothers here you deserve your place in book heaven, you've earned it. Great book if you haven't read it. Jekyll and Hyde. No, I'm sorry you can't stay. Agatha Christie, you have earned your place in heaven. Well done, well, well done, well done. Annie on my mind, heaven. Yep, all of you guys, heaven. Great, I love the Madame Pampamo series. Heaven it is for you. I think a lot of these are heaven. Oh, wait, difficult decision. Orwell, Animal Farm. Enjoyed, you're an angel. You're not heaven. Up here, what have we got? My name is Lucy Barton. Enjoyed that, but you know, you're not the upper echelon like these people are here. Let's see. The Reluctant Fundamentalist, absolutely adored. Heaven. Get rid of whatever the hell that is. Got a pamphlet or something. Um, I think that's it for heaven. I think the rest of these aren't really worthy. Like, I love Anne Cassidy, but I don't think she deserves a place in heaven. A Room with a View definitely does, so that'll go in heaven. Are You Experienced? I really did enjoy that as well. Great book. Heaven. Um, oh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Gotta do it. And The Graduate. But as for the rest of you, you know, I appreciate your time with me, but... You're angels. You're not God. These books here are unfortunately fallen angels. Some of them are still angels, but they're not in heaven. Also, do you like my dress? My boyfriend actually got it for me, and I absolutely adore it. So let's get onto this shelf here. Love this. This was something that I actually got from a charity shop. You're supposed to put jewelry in it, and I just popped in a plant. <laughs> Any container I have, I'll just pop in a plant. 101 Dimensions, you deserve to be in heaven. Oh, Evening Primrose, one of my all-time favourite books. You, my friend, are in heaven. What is up here? Oh, The Bloody Chamber, heaven. The Worst Witch series. Mm, I do enjoy The Worst Witch series. Oh my god, can you see this? Ah. Okay, guys. 
slow your roll. I do enjoy the Worst Witch series, but I don't enjoy them all equally. I feel like some are a bit hit and miss, so I'm not quite sure about that one. Tell me down below what books would make it into your book heaven. I know definitely the colour purple when I find it. Anything by Alice Walker and anything by Tracy Chevalier and Arthur Miller are going straight up there. I have a load of books over here in another bookshelf that you never get to see, which I've read a lot of these books as well. Also, this is a plant that, yes, I did buy a plant extender for because <laughs> I want it to grow as tall as this. I'm like the true mother plant and this ivy. Look how close it's getting. Ivy is literally the serial killer of the plant world. Anyway, what in here? Oh, Frankenstein. That is the book that got me into reading, so that has to be in book heaven. Ta-da! Welcome to the new book heaven. There's been some controversial decisions. It has been quite a controversial journey, really. I will give you a tour of the top shelf. We have some, like, sneaked up the top as well. So I'm going to give you a little tour of what books made it. So we have Dodie Smith, 101 Dalmatians, Starlet Barkin, we have Mary Shelley, Alice Walker, Tracy Chevalier, The Queen, Agatha Christie, Madame Pamplemousse, Arthur Miller, and then these are little random ones, so stuff like The Little Princess, Kitchen, uh, Girl Interrupted, Mary Poppins, Love Letters to the Dead, and all these other ones you've seen, like Charles Dickens, we've got some Dr. Zeus, we've got some E.M. Forster here, and this is Book Heaven, and then we've got To Kill a Mockingbird, Reluctant Fundamentalist, The Graduate, all up there. Do you approve of my decision or not? And then we have all the rest of the books. Just hit, they're all, they're all angels, they're great. I haven't done Book Hell yet. I'm going to save that for another time. I also have sectioned out some books, so this is my Beatrix Potter books. I have the individual Beatrix Potter and then I have these about Beatrix Potter's life and then over here I have another section which is Quentin Blake's drawings and he's my favourite illustrator. So his books with Roald Dahl but also he did this one by himself because he wrote and illustrated his own stuff and I love this one. Oh my god it's so lovely I'll show you it. It's lovely. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the kind of part one to this because I'm not going to be doing any more bookshelf tours till I have the bookshelf done. So, Book Heaven is done. These are my favourite, favourite books. And then we have the rest. And Book Hell, <laughs> get ready for that. I'll save that for another time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to show you, I'm completely dishevelled. This has been a distressing day for me. <laughs> I was like throwing the books around and I was like, but is that my favourite or is it not my favourite? I'm not sure, like I love Jodie Pickard but I don't love all of her books. So Book Heaven was only for books from authors that I love everything they've ever bought out, which is a very high bar when you really sit down and think about it. I'd recommend people do this with their own shelves because it really shows you how many books you've read by one author that you've loved everything they've come out with, like Tracy Chevalier for me, Alice Walker for me, Agatha Christie, Arthur Miller, like I've loved everything I've read from them, Ian Forster, so I would definitely recommend doing this with your own bookshelves. And I will see you if you're interested, I'll do another video on the hell get ready for that so i'll see you again soon for another video